All right, now, right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting this board. This is one of those high temperature cutting boards and it's non electrolytic and we're putting on the bolts for putting the fuses in. So what you're gonna have here is you're gonna have your fuses that'll drop in like so, that's for the wind turbine. It's gonna be cut about right here all the way across. All right, now getting back on this, we've made our board is and we have made our fuse holders included with the uh, bolts recessed, pardon the glue there, the, the uh, bolts recessed into this so they don't even touch the wood behind using complete isolated connectors everywhere. And we have short 10 gauge jumpers going to these. And the, uh, uh, all three now are attached. So we have what will be the uh, chaos turbine, the Billy, turbine we're gonna call this one the Billy Jack badass and this one right here we're gonna keep that as gray matter as soon as I finish running the white wires back to it now we have cooling fans and using nothing more than a simple thermal switch and these are 45 Celsius which is 113 degrees um, we have placed them in the hot side this is the positive side so we placed them that's gonna be the warmer side of rectifier so we placed them in here so that the heat at 113 will turn these on and these fans you see where they're located there will blow air against the bottom of this as well as the bottom of this so actually the air flow is hitting about right in the dead center there and it'll duct it up and draft heat away since most of the heat generated on these is in this right here at the DC point not so much right up here in this top half but down here lower uh, because that's the parts fighting against the battery. Um, I have already got the power distribution part done using two aught cable. Um, see if I can get you that. This is Temco cable. It's about the best damn cable I've used so far. So it's number two. Um, what we have here is we have a 200 amp fuse and we have aluminum blocks which I put eight gauge jumpers on and so this is just for clamping use only you see that in some of my other videos power supply coming out here for the meters which uh, will be these meters right here for the watts and amps and everything on it and they're going to go right back here they're, they're actually mounting back here and I just ran out of one I thought I had three and so there's the leads going up so there's our setup and we are officially powered up and everything is going to be ready to flow here pretty quick as soon as i get the meters in we'll do a display show of that all right people now this is uh towards the end we're on our way over to hook on the gray matter so that her wires going to the house can now go to the shop we have two turbines removed and two turbines attached so you can see, maybe turn these lights off here. And maybe you can read that. There's our turbines right there. Uh, the one in the middle is the Billy Jack, the badass Billy Jack turbine. And it produces a chunk of power, man. Look at this thing rolling. Sold as a 500 water. Look at it. Hitting easy, man. Hitting easy. And then down here, we have the turbine that is the Thermodyne turbine. A little better. I think it hit a pretty good size peak earlier. But the fans are running. You hear them? Fans are running. Wreck fires are getting nice and hot both fans are on you hear them running there and here is kind of the final setup looks a little clustered a little bit in the middle of the night we got 13 point what two three over here at the bank we got 13.7 and you see how i hooked her up right now with two gauge so running back there's her big 200 amp fuse hopefully we don't blow that thing because I'm looking at, look at this right now, 402. Look at this. Live. This ain't Memorex. This is live. 368, 369, 416, 530, 
581 watts look at that right there in front of your face and then down here the thermodyne turbine it's kind of in a little bit of a dirty air behind that one look at this one here 460 watts right now 409 that's the thermodyne and our winds are 21 to 24 miles per hour so that's about right so we have it set up there's your hookups all right there um, the meter I'm using is one of these uh, China buy all meters uh, let's see here Mick tuning and I'll put you a link down there at the bottom of the video for this meter it seems to be very good very hefty and that's what we're working with is we're working with some pretty decent constant stuff coming in and I love that that thermodyne woke up real nice getting it on a nice cool board like this and using real heavy gauge wire so if you bitch about your turbines don't produce man you need to gauge up like I did see that's big gauge wire and this 10 gauge is only two and a half inches of 10 gauge so that it could be connected to this rectifier and then I tighten these all up real tight before I hooked them up. So all both the fans over here are running real nice and cooling them suckers down because these things, look at that, 500, 558, 535. Look at the amperage coming in on that thing. That is real stuff. That's the $225, $250 turbine. I mean, why are you wasting your money on shit? And then you look over, look at this, 500 watts, 5, 472, 471 coming off of this thermodyne turbine that is the chaos right there so you're looking at exactly you are seeing what you're getting here look at that baby go right there bottom bottom shunt bottom and if you if you want to know what kind of shunts those are those are I don't know if you can read them they are 100 amp 75 millivolt so we're gonna get gray matter hooked up right here and hopefully we can see it better the lights kind of blue and come back finish the video but there's your picture shot right there now we have the last turbine the one i call gray matter up here at the peak near the little uh, skylight if you look at my other videos and there is her wires this is how we had it ran 14 gauge <laughs> four extension cords three wires in one and then all wires in each one of three wires a lot of amperage could be carried that way it's middle of the night I've got 13.54 volts here is the connections to aught wire going here and going over here and I've got all these hooked up for diversion because uh, putting out a lot you can see that um, there's the other lug over there all two gauge and coming from here so two gauge is good for 205 amps uh, I've got fans running here here and probably pretty soon here because it just got off that ladder with gray matter and here is our power and let's see here this one here is the gray matter turbine right now so we're looking at that one right now and you can see the wattage output on it right now that's the longest wire run we have and then this one here is the badass billy jack china turbine so there we go right there and then this one right over here if you can read that is the chaos turbine here we go there's the chaos turbine right there so wind speeds right now are 16 to 20 miles per hour gust of 20 16 mile per hour winds so we're looking at uh when you know see the gust there are 300 right there for the gust and you look over here uh 130 that coming off of gray matter right now so about 10 amps and right over here here's chaos that's that new one that i just rebuilt 283 so you get a good idea here what you're looking at and then i can turn these lights off on this and uh there's a little light switch on them and that way you can see them a little clearer there's uh what we got here 100 and 202 uh the earlier uh picture I got a peak of uh, an excess of 600 watts on this one here, the Billy Jack one. And this one over here, I got a peak in the house of, because uh, I only have amperage on it, of uh, 24 amps is all. And this one over here is the one that really surprised me. We get a big kick out of this one. So the Thermodyne Turbine, Hornet Wind Turbine. These here are both Hornet Winds. This one is 
This one is exceeding four years of age and still kicking ass. This one here, all the parts except for the uh, the uh, rebuild of the uh, uh, slip joint or the slip ring um, is new. And then I swapped out PMAs. It's still an older PMA, but I swapped them out uh, because I'm doing something with a new magnet design. So there you are right there. Pretty normal averages for what we got. So if you see this, you hear all the fans are running. That one just kicked on over here for gray matter. It's producing a lot of, a lot of heat. So um, all the fans are running, keeping these rectifiers cool. Uh, pretty good setup, 200 amp, which I don't know if I need to go to a 250 or not. Fuse on it um, because the wire is good for 205. Uh, peaks of 300, 205 constant. But this ain't bad. This ain't bad at all. I do like my results. I love these results. Look at that. Take a look. You're seeing it for yourself. Incredible. Good setup. All right, man. Any questions, ask. Y'all be good.